Hi, let's learn how to create a beautiful concept based custom animation today. The narration goes like this. These days, most presentations just provide information to the audience. When it is just information, most of the times it just goes into one ear and after a little while it goes out of the other ear and very little is retained in the audience's minds. Isn't that a beautiful animation? I found this animation when I was watching a TEDx talk called The Three Magic Ingredients of Amazing Presentations by Phil Wacknell. The animation he used during the presentation was something like this. Because like this guy, we forget most of what we hear very quickly indeed. I don't know if he did this with PowerPoint or with any other software, but I thought why not replicate that specific animation and show you how it is done step by step. So if you are interested in learning how I recreated this animation in PowerPoint, then keep watching. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. The first step is to find the right picture where the person stares right at you so you can do this effect. So I went to insert, pictures, stock images and in cutout people, I looked for the right kind of image. I found that Jonathan had a good pose that I can use for this purpose. So I took this image and I said insert. I didn't need the entire image so I just cropped it by going to picture format, crop and then I cut it till somewhere over here, hit enter and then you can have this placed over here, you can expand the size to something like this. Now we have just the right image for our purpose. The next step is to write our text. So I used the text box tool and I wrote the word information and used a thicker font. In this case, you know my favorite font, which is 2 sen MT condensed extra bold. And this is the font and I increased the size substantially like so. Now the next step is to make this word appear on the slide with a fly in animation. So let us select this, go to animations, fly in and say from left. So I can give the audience the context that most of the times the presentation that is given these days is just about information. Now with that done, the next step is to make this piece of information go into his head through the ear. How do we do that? It's very simple. Let me select this text again. Since we already have an animation on this, we want to add another animation. So let us go to add animation and the animation I'm going to use is under more exit effects. It is called as peek out animation and we say OK and this peeks out to the right. So that is how it goes out. Now let me open the animation pane so you can follow what I'm doing here. When I go to slideshow, this is the first animation. Then on a click, this is how it goes away and it is not like the way that we want it. Now, even if I do send it back by using right click and send to back option, it still doesn't really serve the purpose. Can you see here? It seems like it is going behind his head. We want a way for it to go into his head and that needs to happen through the years. So how do we do that? It's again, fairly simple. I selected this picture pressed Ctrl D to create a duplicate and then placed it right above the previous one. This time I cropped the image. How? Let me select this picture, go to picture format, go to crop. Then I use the crop tool to crop the image till this point just inside the ear. Can you see? I have cut the ear out. Now when I send this original image back by right clicking and using send to back option, and by making this image, you can see this is the cropped image. I can have this come to the front by using bring to front option. Now we have three layers, one original image at the background. Then we have the text and then we have this cropped image in the front. Now what that does is a magic here, which is like this. Can you see here? The word is getting inside his ear. Now this needs to happen a bit more dramatically. So let us slow this down a little bit. So let us go here, go to animations and let us increase this all the way till two seconds. Now for this to have a bit more of a dramatic effect, we need to have this text shrink a little bit and then go inside the ear. And that will look really interesting. So let us select this. 
apply another animation by going to animations tab add animation this time grow shrink and let us select this animation and then go to animation event go to effect options and say that this needs to be smaller so that is what we have done we are shrinking it to 50 percent and say okay and this happens for two seconds and this happens with previous so the text shrinks and then goes inside the year observe what happens here word is introduced and then it shrinks and goes inside and it looks even more beautiful now the next step is for this word to break down into individual characters and then come out the other side so how do we do that I need to apply motion path animation to individual characters. So let me write the word with individual characters. Let us go to home, go to text box tool and then write just I here. Let me select this and then go to two sen empty condensed extra bold and let us have this slightly smaller than the previous one. If you remember the earlier font size was 60. Since we have already shrunk it, we need to have this at a smaller size so let us reduce it to somewhere around 44 which is still a decent size for us to work with and now let us place this somewhere over here and then let us have this exit out of this here so let us go to animations again this time let us add a motion path animation so let us go to the animations option and the motion path i'm going to use now is custom path animation let us have it start from here and then let us draw it a little bit so that it flies out quite dramatically like this. So there is a bit of an arc in the way that it goes out. Now this looks a little too sudden. So let us go to edit points and have this to be a curved point. So let us say smooth point. So you can see that it really goes out quite nicely. We can do the same thing for this one as well. This also can be a smooth point. So the entire trajectory is a bit more interesting and dramatic. We can even have this go a little bit outside like this. Now we have got the path shown. Now while it moves from one point to another, it needs to spin as well for that added dramatic effect. So let me select this character once again, add animation and this time we are going to have spin animation and this will spin simultaneously as it goes out. So we say with previous and when I go to slideshow, this is the first part. And after that, I goes out like that. Can you see? It's very nice. Now this needs to go out of this ear. Now, even if I do send this back by right clicking and using send to back option, it'll still not be just the right way we want because you can see that on click it is going from behind the ear. That is not the effect we want. So how do we do that? First, let me bring this forward so you can see what I'm doing with this. This time I'm going to cut this ear out by using a simple freeform shape. So let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery, from lines tool, let us choose any of these freeform options. Let us choose maybe this freeform shape and then let us draw in such a way that we have this click, click, click and then we are going to complete the shape and then let us select this cropped image. Hold the shift button down and then select this piece here and then say shape subtract. You can get that from shape format, merge shapes and shape subtract. Now when I send this, backward by right clicking and using send backward option and do that once more by using F4 which is the shortcut for repeat action. Now you can see that this text is in between the front layer and the back layer. Now when I go to slideshow you can see that after the initial one I click and you can see that the text is coming out of this here. Isn't that nice? Now we've got one prototype in place. It is just the matter of replicating it over and over and then stacking the characters one on top of the other. So let us select this, bring it to front so you can see what I'm doing. Let me make a copy of this by pressing Ctrl D and then place it somewhere over here. And then the next character is N. You can see that all the animations are retained with this copy as well and that really works pretty beautifully for us. We are going to place this right on top of the previous one while holding the control button so I can have just the copy of it placed on top of it. You can see that this is the original one. 
This time, I'm going to have a little bit of delay introduced. So let us go to animations and this time, let me say 0.25 seconds delay for this as well as for this. You can select, of course, both the animation events while holding the shift button and then introduce the delay. Then we already have the copy of this to work with. So let us have it as F. You can see that this needs to go below this. So I, N and then F. And this time we are going to have a delay of 0.5 seconds. So I've selected both these animation events and let us have this as 0.5 seconds as the delay. Let us place this right on top of the previous one. Let us create a duplicate by pressing Ctrl D. Pull it out here so you can see what I'm doing here. So we say O and let us introduce a delay of 0.75 seconds. Place it right on top of the previous one and then once again press Ctrl D. Bring it out here, say R add a delay of one second and hit enter and then place this back over here and then press ctrl d to create a duplicate and bring this down you know the routine so we are going to complete this for the rest of the characters as well each time we want to add a delay of 0.25 seconds more so we have stacked all the characters one after another when i select everything i can go to align middle and align center and keep everything organized properly now we've got our characters in place but then not everything can go in just this one single track we need to have this track varied so how do we do that we click on this animation so it just picks one of these characters. Then I can click on this top handle and then click and drag it down like this. So I have created a new trajectory for the character N. Once again, let me select this and then let me move this somewhere over here. So there is a new trajectory for O. Once again, click on this and then do the same thing for I. It doesn't really matter which character you're choosing as long as you are able to spread this trajectory in such a way that the characters go out in a very interesting way. So I'm just selecting all of these at random and making sure that they are spread out quite nicely. Adjust the distance as well. The last step is for me to bring this cropped image to the front by right clicking and using bring to front option. So you can see that all these characters are behind this front image. Now let us select these motion path animations while holding the shift button down. I am selecting all of these. I should have done this earlier, but then now I'm doing it. It doesn't really matter. So we have all these first ones selected, which is the motion path animation. And we are going to have this happen with previous. And since we have already introduced the necessary delay, we will have the effect just the way we want. Let us go to slideshow and see how this whole thing works. On a click, I present the context. And then on a click, the word goes inside the ear. And then on a click, we will have the text splitting itself into individual characters and then going out the other ear. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 Creative PowerPoint Ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.